Hey everybody, you may remember this piece in a free previous video. Uh, I found this when I was out thrifting and uh, I thought it would be perfect to put a piece of glass in the middle and uh, perhaps hang it on my fence out back. And um, I, I don't know that I love this brown. It's kind of a bronzy brown kind of color. And um, I have this Rust-Oleum metallic paint that's an oil rubbed bronze. So it's a little bit of a darker um, color. And um, I think I'm gonna give this a try. Now, here's the thing. I have had this forever. Uh, this is probably 10 years old or more, um, but I keep this kind of stuff and I'm gonna give it a good shake and hopefully it works. It says it's good for indoor, outdoor. I intend to hang this outside on our fence. Uh, so hopefully this will go well. And then truly what I was thinking too is with this color, I mean, I, I like this better and this oil rubbed bronze look. If I don't get perfect coverage across this thing, I don't think you're gonna notice so much. So I there was something that was clearly in here, some sort of resin kind of piece that broke out. So I'm gonna use screwdriver and kind of whatever tools I can to pop these pieces out. And then uh, I'm gonna go give this a spray paint. All right, so I just have two sheets of white Tecta that I stacked here did some dusting of some various colors of blue powder just to give it a little bit of a sky effect and, and something to have on the background. Now I'm going to build out a floral scene on this. You'll notice I've decided to turn this on the on the angle here. I think I wanna frame this entire thing as kind of more of the diamond shape versus the square orientation. So that's why it looks the way it does. I'm gonna build this out with kind of a grassy area and a couple of blue bonnets, uh, the Texas state flower. So I'll show you what that looks like when it comes out. All right, here it is out of the kiln. So I um, am very pleased with this firing. I love when I get all that texture. Uh, I only go to 1375 and I hold it for 13 minutes, which I know is a weird amount, but that's what I have found I like the best in my kiln. So test, 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 and know your own schedules. A lot of you have seen where I've done unboxing videos where I have lots of confetti that I buy from Tabitha and you wonder what I'm doing with it. This is an example. I used a green, I think it was called fresh green, but it doesn't matter, a green mix that Tabitha had. I crushed it up and then I just like throwing it in here. There's so much dimension and texture and colors and variations, striations in the glass. So I just think it's super cool and uh, decided to use it in this mix. The um, vitrograph also, I think, came from Tabitha. I can't recall, I think it, that was hers. So anyway, I did it on the uh, angle here because I like that diamond shape and did my fuse and it fits perfectly in there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue it in the corners where there were the tabs for gluing it. And then I'm going to flip it uh, I'm a little nervous about this. I'm going to flip it on the back side and I'm going to put a bead of glue all along the back as well, kind of where that seam is, just to make sure that I'm getting it in there uh, really well. And I'm using that uh, Gorilla Clear Construction Adhesive that you've seen me use in lots of videos before. It's on my Amazon store. I just love that stuff. And I think as this, um, you know, might be out, well, I know it's going to be outside. I'm going to hang it on my fence, but as it's going to be outside and, you know, may tend to ex expand and contract and whatnot, I think that that glue is going to suit that that very well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this glued up now. All right, and here it is. So on the back, you can see, I just kind of, I'm not too, it's going to hang on the back against the fence. So I was more about making sure I got plenty on there uh, versus how nice it looked, but I kind of slopped it all on there. Uh, you could also see probably that I was at the very bottom of the tube and I'm so um, miserly and frugal. I was trying to get every last little squeeze out. So um, it's not pretty on the back, but I don't really care. I don't need it to be because it's gorgeous on the front. I'm super super happy with this piece and how it turned out. So I um, hope this inspires you. Hope you learned a little something. Keep your eyes out for good uh, thrifting finds. This was 
$2.99 and then I think I bought it for half price. So uh, you can't beat that. I am super pleased with how this fits in here, how it looks. I can't wait to get it hung. All right, in Texas, we have these giant privacy fences and here it is, it's on our alley. We live in an alley and so there it is hung. There's the dogs probably. <laughs> We got little windows for the dogs. But anyway, there it is, hung, and uh, I'm really, really pleased with how this looks. So hope you enjoyed this project.